Well, it may be a coincidence, but I think people are remarking on the timing. You have that UN team headed by the Swedish expert, Professor Arkis Selström, which is there to investigate three other allegations of chemical weapons use. They've just arrived just about uh, to start their work. And it's also worth remarking on the fact that in the last 48 hours or so, there's been some progress uh, between the US and the Russians, who are on different sides of the argument uh, on Syria. But they have agreed in the coming days to sit down in the Netherlands and try and restart the idea of some sort of peace conference taking place in Geneva. So people are remarking on the timing of this attack. And if everything we're hearing about this attack is true, then this would be the worst chemical attack by far so far in Syria. And James, we're hearing um, as well, we heard from the William Hague, the UK, UK Foreign Secretary, calling for these inspectors to be allowed in uh, to this particular area. I mean, are we expecting any movement on the uh, diplomatic front from the UN Security Council after this? Uh, information? Yeah, we are. There's a flurry of diplomatic activity, I think, we're expecting in the coming hours. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that that UN team will go uh, to the site. We think there'll be a UN Security Council meeting, not quite confirmed yet, but I'm hearing it's highly likely there'll be an, an urgent session, emergency session of the UN Security Council in the next uh, few hours. The other thing that's going on, the UK and France, two countries, I believe, are writing uh, to the Secretary General saying that he should change the mandate of that team that's already in the country, allowing them to go uh, and investigate this new incident. Having said that, even if he agrees, he then has to get permission from the Syrian authorities to go there. They have to carry out a security assessment, make sure it's safe to send their inspectors there. And I think there's one other point worth mentioning, which is the original mandate of these inspectors is to work out whether chemical weapons were used, but not to decide which side used them.